All right, with our motherboard installed, we can now move on to the CPU. We've chosen the Intel Core i7-5960X. That's a socket 2011 CPU, eight cores, 16 threads, Extreme Edition, unlocked, overclocking master. Look at the size of that beauty. Mm -mm. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open up our socket here. Make sure we don't bend any pins. Be very careful with it. We're gonna line up the keys on the CPU and use the golden arrow on the PCB to line it up with the board. That way we install it in the correct configuration. There we go. Go ahead and close the lid. Latch it down and remove the socket protector. All right, so next up, we need to install our thermal paste. Now, there's a multitude of methods out there and there's a lot of discussion on the proper way to apply thermal paste. Pretty much, you gotta have thermal paste. Not too little, not too much. So, we're gonna show you one of the easiest methods to apply thermal paste that's gonna get the job done for you. All right, so tried and true method here. One of simplicity is to make a bead directly in the center of the processor, and you want it to be about the size of a pea. All right, with that taken care of, we can move on to the cooling solution. We've got a prototype of the Primo Chill liquid cooling CPU block. This thing is massive. Lots of copper, lots of fin density in there, high surface area. It's beautiful, so I can't wait to see how this performs. But, number one thing is, remove the tape from the bottom. All right, we'll get our mounting standoffs on here. Cool thing is, socket 2011 already has a threaded mount plate. No need to get up underneath the motherboard and install some sort of custom backing or anything like that. It's ready to go. Next up, we want to align our block for aesthetic and flow. Give a little push in the center. Now what that'll do is it'll spread that bead of thermal paste out across the CPU. It also helps ensure that there's no air bubbles in the system. We're gonna install some springs. This will help keep even pressure across the block and fasten it down. There we go, firmly seated and secured.